Welcome to another YouTube Live on Tuesday. Let me see if... Yes, I'm live! Woohoo! Excellent. Good. So, I've got free stuff to play with today and I have a runny nose. Excuse me, just going to wipe my nose. Oh. It's probably dust. I'm in the middle of clearing out and clearing up and reorganising my craft room. I know. Uh, I've already done three days on it and it's nearly killing me. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be, I have discovered. And that means that everything aches. Not helped, of course, by the fact that I also went to the gym yesterday for the first time in literally decades um, and had a personal training session. So... Walking is an option that is not really available to me today. Um, everything aches. I mean, everything. Good morning, Claire. So, um, yes. <laughs> there are moments when I really think I ought to remember that I am not as young as I used to be. And that, therefore... Sorry, I'm just trying to get some bits of card out of dies. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be. And therefore, I need to just be a little bit more circumspect about things and not just assume I can do everything but hey that would be no fun really would it so I've got two cards that I have planned for this morning hello Heidi um, and I'm using shaded summer from the annual catalog and the what do we call them summer shadows dies from celebration which are free with a qualifying purchase until lost a die there it is until um the end of september oh those have gone back in the wrong place never mind it'll be fine um so yes fun 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 today um but yeah and then more of the whole clearing out my craft room <sighs> happy days Good morning, Wendy. Morning, Pam. Bit dull here today as well, although it looks like it's going to brighten up. I don't think today is going to be as nice as yesterday, which for me at the moment is not a bad thing because it means that I won't be tempted to be outside. Drink. So, yes. So I am using, as I've just said, um, Shaded Summer, which is in the annual catalogue, um, but I'm teaming this or pairing it with the summer shadows dies which are free in celebration whoa your dad's turning 89 walks every day for an hour and on sundays he walks on the beach for good heavens wow wow very windy with you today uh there's a bit of a breeze here not much not much so I'm going to flip the camera down and um, we'll get started. I've got almost everything I need ready, just not everything. Um, so I've got one of the stamps mounted on my block. Um, hopefully it will stamp all right. It's probably needs to be on the E block rather than the D block, but hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, and I've got one of the sentiments. I will be swapping sentiments. And I'm basically using the ink colours, the current ink, new ink colours. I bet he puts most of us to shame, Heidi. So as I have got the, the die-cutty bits out at the moment, we're going to start with those. Wasn't what I was planning, but it's fine. Um, so I'm using the Tasteful Label dies as well which I keep forgetting we have. I've sorted out everything. I mean, every single set of dies. Thank you. I have to say it's just from our local Sainsbury's supermarket. Um, but thank you. Um, and it's quite old. Morning, Lorna. Dull again today. Yes, dull here as well. So, tasteful label dies. I've, I, I'd forgotten we had them. Um, but I've now got all of my dies. I'm gazing at them lovingly in alphabetical order. At least I thought they were until I realised that I had the S's 
behind the T's. Um, so I need to just check that. Good morning, Karim from New Zealand. First time catching me live. Woohoo! Excellent. Right, so um, I have prepared the base for... No, I've started preparing the base for one of my cards. And actually, I think I will use it for this one and then I'll get another one going for the other card. Sunny blue skies, light wind. <sighs> Thank you, Barbara, for sharing your lovely weather from Germany. But hello. Right, so... I have die cut. Let me show you the dies. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? And there's this one as well. So there are three that die cut stamped images. So they die cut these. So no fussy cutting. <laughs> Love it. Um, actually, it's evening and almost bedtime for Karin. Well, yeah, it would be if you're in New Zealand. Um, so, yes, three dies that die cut the stamped images um, then we've got lots of sentiments which the dies don't deal with and then we've got all these shapes uh, that we can layer up which is kind of where I'm coming from with my first card so I have got uh, as I say I'm sticking mostly with um, the 2021-23 in colours so I've got evening evergreen um, I've got a piece of the pa uh, pansy, pop uh, pansy, whatever it's called, paper. Isn't that dreadful? I should know. <sighs> Gosh, it's 10 or 11 o'clock in New Zealand. Well, it would be. Morning, Margaret. It's beautiful with you. I'm really pleased it is. Um, it's brightening up with us. So, pansy petals, that's what I'm trying to remember and forgetting. Good morning from the United States. Or good morning, United... Gosh, it must be early with you. I don't know who 48 Blasen is, actually, but hey. Anyway, so pansy petals, which concentrates on the ink colours. So, I've got um, polished petal. I've got a pale papaya mat, not mat, um, label. Morning, Jan, from Florida. Hot and sweaty. Well, yes, it, it would be. Um, I've got I've got fresh freesia. I've got evening evergreen leaves. And I've got soft succulent leaves. I thought I had another set of leaves. I should have another set of evening evergreen leaves. So I'm now wondering where they've gone. I've got the I've got the negative. Oh, there they are. There they are. You have them somewhere. 5 a.m. with you. Good heavens. OK, right. So I'm going to start by layering up my leaves. So and, you know, die cuts, not just leaves. So I'm going to layer. These do actually layer on top of each other. Uh, you have to get them the right way round. But once you've got them the right way round, they're fine. I mean, you don't have to get them the right way round. You could have them offset. Um, somewhere once upon a time I had, there they are, some um, craft tweezers and some adhesive. Oops. So those of us who are Silver Elite and above have backstage this back end of this week, um, which I'm really looking forward to. Not looking forward to the whole having to be up until... Well, you don't have to. You can catch it on replay. But to catch it live being up until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, however, uh, I know that those of you in Australia and New Zealand will need to be up very early in the morning. Frankly, for me, if I want to concentrate, that's better. 6 a.m. in Florida. Woo. Um... So, yeah, it will be great, but I remember doing it last year and, oh boy, was I tired by the end of it. Um, but what it does mean is that I should have been in Las Vegas at the moment because that's where backstage was going to be. Um, and I've never been to Las Vegas and it's always been on my one day list. So it's back on my one day list. 
although I know it would have been incredibly hot. Um, but given the summer that we've had in the UK so far, I really wouldn't mind. Hello, Rose from Australia. Oh, Heidi, thank you. Yes, don't forget to thumbs up and share. That would be lovely. Right, so that's my first flower put together. Um, this one's going to be a bit easier because there's more um, open, you know, solid space. So that is easy. Now, what you can do, of course, if you want to do, if you want to be sensible, when was I ever sensible? Um, you could save yourself a whole lot of grief just by putting adhesive sheet behind your card before you die cut it. But that would have been too simple. So, there we go. Right. Okay, and then the, f the leaves also layer. Um, now, the leaves are quite delicate. So, do just bear that in mind. Now, I normally hold my die cut somewhere kind of in the middle. Gosh, we've got Victoria, Queensland, all over Australia and New Zealand and I know you guys are mostly in lockdown now we're kind of just going with the flow so I think our infection rate is you know <laughs> rising um, but we are I read a really interesting article well I mean it depends on your definition of interesting I suppose um, but there is an argument for and probably more so in countries where the um, vaccination program is well ahead um, that we should just now let the virus run um, and build up natural immunity because if you've been vaccinated you shouldn't theoretically and I know there are exceptions um, get a bad dose um, uh, but the argument is that natural um, natural immunity is longer lasting um, and your your system remembers it better so um yeah i think that's kind of where we're hoping for in the uk at the moment but we'll see um there's part of me that says we'll be in lockdown again but who knows who knows? Equally, the virus may run its course. It may burn out because all these variants are different um, and apparently they can get to a point where they burn themselves out. So we'll see. And we do have other coronaviruses that we deal with on a, an annual basis, like the common cold. Uh, and there is a theory that if you catch a common cold, you will get some immunity to COVID-19 because it is another coronavirus. But anyway, kind of sick of COVID now. Right. OK, so uh, I'm going to pick another sentiment because I was going to the one I've got layered up was going to be for. Um, there we are um, for the card that I'm doing next. Morning, Jan. I'm meeting up with Jan tomorrow. Woo! Jan is on my team um, and lives very near to me. So, yes, we're meeting up tomorrow for a chat about stuff, um, which will be great. I think that might fit on one of these strips before they end up in the bin. It will just. OK, so I'm going to go evening evergreen. Uh, because it's dark and that's the colour of the card base. So, yeah, it's going to be lovely to meet up with someone face to face. I was hoping to meet up with another demonstrator, friend of mine, who's not on my team. We're not in the same team, but we we kind of... Ooh, I don't like that. It's too near the edge. Let's go up a bit. Um... But we are chums, I would say. Um, so, yes, I'm hoping still to be able to meet up with her. But her husband has just been diagnosed with COVID. So it all depends. Um, because she and her son 
well, because she's double jabbed, she doesn't have to go into isolation. She just has to do regular tests. So we may meet up. Who knows? Right. OK, so I've got all the bits I need. I am going to need to cut some of them down, but that's fine. So I have got a couple of bits of the designer series paper. Um, so I've got this one with lots of pansies on it and I'm going to be using this side. And then I've got this one um, with one of the ginghams on the back. I'm glad they've grown on you, Lorna. I find that ink colours do tend to take a while to grow. Um, right, so this piece I'm hoping is three and seven eighths. It is. So I'm going to cut this at five and five eighths. Oh, I miss Judith. Morning, Judith. I missed you joining. So this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, my usual bottom layer mat. Um, then I've got a piece of white, which I'm going to cut down to five and a half by three and three quarters. I will, when this posts on my website, um, be sharing the metric and North American measurements. So don't worry. Uh, this is coming down to five and three quarters, sorry, five and three eighths by three and five eighths. So basically I'm an eighth of an inch smaller on each layer. Morning B. Uh, oh, Jan's got a parcel. Where's Jan got? Happy, happy parcels have just arrived. Ooh. Is that team swaps, Jan? Oh, and on the subject of which, um, have you got all the team swaps now? Because we're doing we've we've we're doing team swaps, um, and some of them are taking a little while to arrive. Ironically, inevitably, um, the ones from overseas have arrived first. Now I wouldn't normally use um, Tombow multi multi-purpose liquid glue on white card, but it's going to be covered with coloured card, so I don't mind or coloured paper rather. So I'm quite happy to do that, but it does give me that little bit of wiggle room, which is always good. Um, pop that to one side for the moment and grab my seal. Uh, yours are still picking, are they, Heidi? You really didn't like um, Evening Evergreen when you first... Now you actually quite like it. Good. I'm glad, Heidi. As I say, I think they normally do tend to grow. I find that normally it's the... When they're... A, when they're in their retirement year, um, I start liking them. These ones, however, I did like from the get-go. Um, I think they work really well together. Morning, Margaret. They've now all arrived marvellous, Jan. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know, because there were a few that were not arriving with Jan. So two of the team have very kindly volunteered to sort out the swaps. So they all go to the, the packs, go to the team members. They sort them into, you know, d dole them out and then pop them back in the post. Um, ironically, as I say, those from overseas arrived early. Um, mine and the other team member who's in Oxfordshire, ours hadn't arrived um, by the deadline, but we allowed for a little bit of wiggle room on that. So, hello, Sharon from Adelaide. Right, so I'm just going to pop this onto my Evening Evergreen card base. And I specifically chose Evening Evergreen as the background for one of the cards because the it's dark um, and I do find that if you put a lot of colour on colour it can be quite mm, yeah it can just be quite so I'm going to pop that in the middle where it dies into the background so we will be doing something about that um, let's see no don't know quite what we're going to be doing about that just popping it up I think um, and then I'm going to layer up my flowers and put the sentiment across the middle. So first things first, I need dimensionals. 
And as I say, I am in the middle of sorting out my craft room. So everything is all over the place. I had to clear a space underneath my camera setup just to be able to do this because no those are minis don't want to be doing minis because there we are um because yes i haven't i haven't um finished yet it's been three days so far uh So Heidi is stuck in Queensland, although she lives in Melbourne. I'm guessing that's because of the lockdown that you guys have got. It's, I mean, it's, it stinks, frankly. Um, all I would say is we've been in lockdown on and off for 18 months um, and mostly on. Uh, I think Wales was probably the worst form of lockdown. Oh, I might go that way, actually. No, I'm going to go that way. Um, but, yeah, it stinks. I mean, we've been in lockdown for months on end. Right, so let's layer all these up. I haven't planned this particularly at all. All I've done is die cut stuff. Just saying. Right, okay. This is going to be an expensive card to post. Just decided that because, certainly in the UK, I'm putting two layers of dimensionals on and therefore it's now a large letter. Oh, it's because to say it's between you. Uh. But yeah, I mean, we had literally months on end of being in lockdown. Um, I mean, months. So it's been pretty exciting. Not. Oh, good news. Hubby's back is almost totally better. Um, I think just going to see the consultant has made a big difference. Um he was beginning to get better. Um, morning, Audrey. Having a nightmare. Oh, fridge freezer broke down and we've had a problem with uh, insurance companies. Uh, yeah, this is where um, insurance either wins or fails. So everyone, you know, recommends an insurance company. Oh, they're so good. They gave us such a good deal on our on our renewal. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's when you need to claim that's the issue. Um, having been an insurance broker for the vast majority of my working career, um, certainly in the earlier days, the last 10 years I was in working for an insurance brokers, but in financial crime prevention, um, I always used to say to my clients, um, price isn't everything. It's their claims process that is the most important thing. So I hope you get it sorted out soon. Right, so I've just got my little leaves to pop in somewhere, which may or may not end up coming in. Oh no, I quite like that one there. So let's pop that in. But uh, yeah, so Hubby is off the painkillers. Whoa! Um, interesting. <laughs> he kept saying, I don't think they're doing much good. Um, yeah. When he came off them, he realised just how effective, well, how he had been affected by them in that he got withdrawal symptoms. So, yeah, happy day. So that one I think can go in there. And then, whoops, this one I'll tuck in under there and then we'll pop our sentiment on. So, so yes, uh, all sorts of exciting side effects or withdrawal symptoms. Um, so I was busy Googling withdrawal symptoms from codeine and everything he was saying he was suffering with, 
Yep, withdrawal symptom. Yeah, absolutely, Heidi. <laughs> of course, it would be cold in Adelaide, wouldn't it? Because it's you're in the southern hemisphere, so it's winter with you guys. Right, so that's our basic card. And then I'm just going to trim down my happy birthday. And let's see, how big is it? Oh, it could be three quarters of an inch. You know what that means, don't you? That means I can use one of those pick a punch punches. Woohoo. Right, okay, so let me trim it down. Morning, Karen. Luckily, you can craft during lockdown. Absolutely. As I say, I mean, we've been in lockdown for months um, and now we're just letting the virus rip. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it's all OK. And that the those of us that have been vaccinated will keep everything sort of happy. Uh, right. I need my little chopper. <laughs> Here's the thing. I found I've got two more of these. Didn't know. Thought I had one possibly, but no, I have two. Oh, and I had I felt warm and fuzzy this morning um, because I dropped off five, yes, five big boxes of um, retired stuff to a local children's charity. Just going to get a punch. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to be boring and go with the good old first one that came out. <laughs> Bring on the warmer weather for your old bones. Yeah, I know that feeling. Right, I am going to go. I'm going to go in upside down so I can see what's going on. I like to do that just in case I suddenly discover that the stamping is in the bit that's going to be punched off. So that's, it's not straight, but it's fine. Um, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to trim that down a bit more. And I'm going to have one end pointing and the other end flagging. Two hours notice of lockdown. That's not great. Yeah, we did get notice that we were going into lockdown. I mean, you know, lots of notice. Ooh, I've trimmed that too short now. Come on, out you come. Right, okay, so here's a little trick. If you discover that um, you're a bit short on handle, just add one. Just pop a handle on. Um, but then put it in the right bit. So I'm going to flag it there. And then you can just twist it off, particularly if you haven't pressed too hard. I have an electric throw rug on me. Oh no, Lisa, that's dreadful. I mean, not dreadful, but you know what I mean. Um, Right, so by the way, this is Bumblebee in the background, which is why it possibly isn't working brilliantly. Uh, I think I'm going to grab another piece of evening evergreen. Which would be so much easier if I could find my... Oh, no, there it is, evening evergreen. So I want... I want a piece an inch wide. Of course, in Queensland, it would be warmer, wouldn't it? Because you're right up in the north. Right, so one end I need to flag and the other end I need to... Um, have a banner. Right, so that's one end. 
So that's going to be that end. So this end needs to be about yay long. I'm going to do it shorter than I think it needs to, or rather longer than I think it needs to be, because you can always cut it off, but you can't stick it back on again. Right, so, happy, 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 happy. Right, so I do need to make it a little bit shorter. Did think I would, but as I say, it's much easier to trim a little bit more off than it is to stick another piece on. Ooh! I was driving into Abingdon, which is our kind of local reasonable sized town, um, yesterday, and to go to the gym to kill myself. Um, and they've got a sunflower farm fields of sunflowers i mean literally fields of sunflowers it was oh fortunately it was shut otherwise i think i'd have gone in and bought the whole field my idea of heaven fields of sunflowers right okay so that is going to go there going to come across a bit more apparently that's going to go there so it's going to go flat onto the um, label and then have some little minis I think poking out on the flag end bit could do black actually black might be better because it's a dark color Right. Come down a bit, actually. In fact, I'm going to come down quite a bit. Didn't like it showing through. There we go. Just hold that in place. Oh, there was a question. Somebody miss. I miss. No, I'm not using the dies from the Pansy Petal Suite. I am using. I am using Shaded Summer and the Celebration Summer Shadows. But I'm using the paper from the Pansy Suite. Hello, Amanda from Perth. I like Perth. First time watching me. Woo! Watching me live anyway. Right, okay, so that's that one sort of done. I will be doing the inside, but I will do that when I do the inside of the other one. So the second card should, famous last words, be quicker. Now, I'm going to grab more designer series paper. I've got a new piece of furniture. I'm so excited. Um, so these, these are the patterns. I think I showed you these, but hey, I'll show you again. Um, so this time... I am going to be using Stampin' Right markers, um, and I want, hmm, I think I'm going to use that one, and yeah, that one. So, same papers, just same but different. So, I need a piece of basic white Q, a piece of basic white. Um, I have my large stamp mounted up and I've got my petal, not petal pink, my polished pink uh, marker for the flowers. And I'm going to do that first because then I'm going to use Evening Evergreen for the leaves. And because Evening Evergreen is a darker colour, that's the one I will use second, so that if by any chance I pick up the other colour, 
um, it will it won't spoil the first you get what I mean uh, still dark in North Carolina well it would be dare I say uh, family of ex-patient have an area of their farm to pick sunflowers yay five thousand pounds of donations wow well as you know B love a sunflower and love all my sunflowers because my team is the sparkling sunflowers and I hope to be posting out retreat boxes either well they'll probably go in the post tomorrow because I need to sort everything out um, and it will be easier to do that once I have uh, finished sorting out my room but I had to sort out my room before I could do the treat boxes uh, the retreat boxes because there literally was no space I mean it was a disaster I should have done a before and after um, and of course it had to get more untidy before it got less untidy um, but I am being brutal so I'm actually going through every single bit of my cupboard uh, I'm going through and if I don't need it anymore it's going it's either being donated or sold or thrown away uh, and nothing is allowed back into a cupboard until it has been through that sorting out process I'm now at the stage where I actually have room to put everything back but I'm not because I haven't finished sorting everything and I know that if I just put everything back all I'm doing is making a rod for my own back uh, because I'll only have to sort it out again at some point in the future. So I'm using the side of my stamp and write marker. You don't want to use the tip because you'll catch it and it will ruin the tip of your marker. Thank you, Heidi. Yes, thumbs up and share the video is always lovely. And if you don't already subscribe, um, please do, bottom right hand corner. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, live welcome if you're watching for the first time at all welcome um so i'm live tuesday at 11 o'clock uk time and thursday at three o'clock uk time <sighs> thank you lorna uh so i've just huffed on my stamp to reactivate the ink you need me in my craft room. Huh, yeah. Um, I haven't enjoyed it. I do it about once every 18 months and I should do it more frequently. What I should do is not let it get that way. Um, so you can see it stamps really nicely with the markers. It's just a bit more kind of watercolorish. I'm just going to trim off the excess because these will go through my mini die cutter, which has a new home. Or my new piece of furniture which I love. I cannot tell you how long I've looked at bits of furniture because um, I, I knew where I wanted it to go and I knew the space I had and I knew kind of what I wanted it to do. Um, I very very nearly somewhere there is a die and it's the one I need for this are oh, hidden um, I very nearly made a big mistake um, which was to buy drawers and the reason that would have been a mistake I love drawers let it be said I love drawers because it means you can get to the back of them quite easily however the place where the furniture is is covering up uh, French windows which I never use I have doors in three walls and that is just not um, a good idea. It's not a good use of space. So I'm covering up one of the sets um, and to put drawers there, I wouldn't be able to attach the furniture to the wall because it's not. It's a door. It's a glass door. Um, so it had the possibility of falling forwards. Um, so I remembered that and did remember, remember that that was why I was buying a cupboard. Ah, what 
have we got? Our cat's just had a disagreement. Oops. Oops. Mini die cutter arrived that last Friday. Yay! I'm so pleased it arrived for you, Judith. Are you going to walk through your craft room after you've sorted it out? I will be, Heidi. I will indeed. Um, those of you who follow me regularly will possibly remember that I am actually going to take some time off. Um, and then I'm going to post videos to cover that time off. Um, so I won't be live when I do that. And it'll be sometime in the next couple of weeks. And I honestly don't know when exactly. Um, so I'm just looking at the colours. I'm going to go soft succulent for my sentiment this time. Um, yeah. Um, and I will do a walkthrough as one of those videos. So, may the good you do come back to you. I thought it was a really nice sentiment. Let's see if I can stamp it straight. So I was just catching up on your on your um chat. Yes, Wendy is one of my sunflowers. So I love sunflowers, let it be said. In case you hadn't realised, I love sunflowers. Um, and I grow them every year. I have to say this year hasn't been terribly successful for sun yet, sunflowers. Um, certainly around us, because it was so cold and damp and miserable. Um, indeed, let it be said that I planted sunflowers outside our house. We have a black barn-like um, house. Um, and it looks really great with sunflowers growing against it. Didn't do a good job of cleaning that stamp. Um, need my scrub, probably, to get into the little bits. Um, anyway, I have, I have grown sunflowers out there before. I have lavender, and then the sunflowers grow in between the lavenders. Yeah, the snails basically ate every single last bit of the leaves of most of the sunflowers. So I ended up with about three sunflowers. Um, the ones I planted in the main garden, which are in tubs, because, well, there's a long story about why they're in tubs, um, did quite well, but they flowered really early. So, yeah, it's been a funny year for sunflowers. Right, three and seven eighths, tick. Excellent, except... I'm actually going to... No, I'm not. That would be really, really sad. No, I'm not going to be that sad. Let's have a look and see if I can be less sad with another piece of paper. No, it's fine. It's just looking at this. I am going to be sad, actually. Um, this is white predominantly, and this is soft succulent predominantly, and it's really annoying me. So I'm going to trim it down. So these are going to be slightly odd measurements. I'm going to use my standard measurements on my web post, but let's just accept that I am sad and that would really annoy me. So, well, I don't see you come on because YouTube. Ah, you didn't see me come on or see someone come on. Yes, live chat is what you want. Happy snails, very happy snails. Hello, Deborah. Right, so this is going to need to be very fractionally smaller than five and a half inches and very fractionally smaller than three and three quarters because I have trimmed this smaller. So this is just because I am a sad person who doesn't like my paper to... Oh, no, that's going to need to be smaller on both sides. Right, so I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to take a whole sixteenth. Um, so it's going to be five and a half less a sixteenth by three and three quarters less a sixteenth 
that's really not a happy cut I will trim that a bit more uh, and then this is going to be so this would have been five and a half five, there so I'm going to trim it to there no I'm going to trim a teeny weeny bit off here I am so sad so a teeny bit off there and then I'm going to so that would have been there that so I'm going to come to there so it still hasn't worked hmm I am sad let's just accept the fact that I am sad so that would have been there, and then it would have been there then it would have been there I'm making it worse not better okay I'm going to trim it there and then hopefully I can trim the other bit to be the right length I'm just not concentrating on what I'm doing that's better that's what I want and then this would be there so basically five and a half uh, five and five and five eighths by three and seven eighths five and a half by three and three quarters five and three eighths by three and five eighths except I've trimmed a sixteenth of an inch off all of those measurements just because the base piece was doing my head in and I'm just trimming these with my guillotine because it gets a sharper edge when you're trimming a really small piece so I've got these teeny weeny weeny teeny pieces which trying to get those off on the trimmer not so easy right so let's make sure that they layer nicely and if they don't I'm just going to have to live with it yes okay we're there Ruth you're here I haven't seen you for ages Ruth welcome back Ruth was one of my very very first customers five years ago well she was probably a customer of mine four and a half years ago but yeah one of my very first customers right so that's that then I need my seal actually I'm going to put it on here just because it's kind of easier to do it on card than it is on paper and then this theoretically if we line it up on three sides the fourth side should take care of itself and it does whoa right now I need a card base and I'm mm, going to see if I've got I have oh actually I've got a choice so here's a question do we want to go all the greens or do we want so let me let me do that so decide for me whether we go petal pink bearing in mind this is going to go over the top do we want petal pink or soft succulent you're like a bad penny no you're not oh thank you I'm so pleased I'm looking okay You can't craft because you've got your foot up on a stool. Oh, that's awkward. Greens, pink. <laughs> so we've, we have 50-50 at the moment. So I'll leave that for a while. While I get some liners, because whichever one we use, we're going to need a liner. We're, one, two, we're currently on three greens, four greens. Right, we're going... Barbara, you've already voted. Oh no, it's uh, the other Barbara. So we've now got more for the greens and less for the pink. So we're going green. I got confused with my Barbara's there. And yep, greens. No, sorry, Sharon, Sharon, we're going green. It's green all the way. So I would have a real problem if I had to have my feet up 
or a foot up because I craft standing up. And the way I have my studio set up, I can't sit down at my desk because I have furniture underneath it. So I have a fanning cabinet underneath my desk. So if I had to put my foot up, I wouldn't be able to craft either. Right, okay, so we're going to go there and there and then I'm going to trim this right down and I'm going to put it at the top. Where am I? Maybe I'm going to push that up. No, I'm going to push it at the bottom. Right, decision, it's done. Right, so... Most of this will be on the label. I will be popping the label up. So we're going to have that kind of there. And then we're going to pop the label up. And while I'm popping up the label, I can pop up the the um, flower at the top. Getting to get lots of YouTube, well, that's always good. I don't manage to watch as much YouTube as I used to, and I miss it. But... Um, yeah, I have other things I need to do with my time. Right, that's what I'm looking for. That bit just there. I have a tiny weeny piece of edge of dimensional, in fact, mini dimensional, and that is going to go behind that stalk to give it some support. Right, so we were going towards the top, weren't we? So yes, YouTube is one, a wonderful way of spending time, getting inspiration. Um, and if you've got nothing better to do, frankly, it's great. It's also great for research, so those of you, again, who follow me regularly will know that I have ordered an electric car. Can't wait for it to arrive. I need to get an electric charger put into the house, but, you know, other than that. Um, but yes, and I did all my research, basically, thanks to YouTube. Right, so this I'm going to trim. Uh, I'm just going to hack a piece off for the moment, but I'm going to bring my little guillotine in because I want it to be as small as I can possibly get it. Oh, bless you, Deborah. We try. We don't always succeed, but we do try. That's not straight. So, I'm going to try and get it straighter. Except I now can't decide which way straight is. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to accept that it's possibly not completely straight. May have to make it even smaller, however. Actually, it doesn't matter because that's script. She says, then looking at it again and deciding it matters. Right, so let's do that. That's better now. So having got one edge straight, I can then get all the others straight. That's going off the edge. <sighs> Any time I've had 
Sorry, I've just read Barbara's comment. Um, I really must come and see you, Liz. Online, that is. To see what I like in your goodie catalogue. Absolutely, because celebration. Woohoo! We like celebration. There's lots of freebies. Of which this is one. Well, the dies are one. No, let's not throw the away the sentiment. Uh, four to six weeks. Oh, no. The, the reason I was laughing is Barbara does guest stamper for, for me every now and again on our team Facebook page. And she does an amazing job, let it be said. Um, oh, I'm thinking, actually. I think I might want there. I think I prefer that better. No, no, I'm going back to where I was starting. Um, but yeah, so I do guest stamper once a month. Um, and one of my team gets to be guest stamper. They get to choose a stamp set um, up to a certain value. Um, and all they have to do is, and that's theirs to keep free. Um, and then all they have to do is post a weekly project that uses that stamp set as the main feature. Um, Barbara does an amazing job. Oh, I'm going right off the edge. That's what I'm going to do. Um, does an amazing job um, and posts about, I don't know, 15 or 16 projects on the months that she does. Three days to get gatefold card done. Oh. oh, using the trimmer one-handed is difficult, yes. Random question, what colour is your new car? Turquoise. Yep, turquoise. Um, not the colour my husband particularly likes, but there we go. Uh, so I'm just getting a scrap of paper because otherwise known as the back of one of these bits of grip paper. What I'm now going to do is just stamp on the insides. I'm going to use this little stamp, which I haven't used by all accounts because it's not had its label yet. Um, so the I'm going to clean up how I'm going to describe the other colours. So the colour I'm getting is a VW ID3. Um, which gets about, with the battery pack that I've selected, um, oh god, floaters are in the way, um, gets a, theoretically about 260 miles on a charge. It won't, but that's the theoretical. It's a bit like, you know, the MP, uh, like the range on a, a, an ordinary um, internal combustion engine car. Um, right, so I want all that. This is soft succulent. Um, sorry, I'm just having a think about something. Yeah, so I need to ink that up again. Um, so this is the stamped off. And the reason I stopped myself was because I didn't want to read. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to do the, pretty much the same on both of my cards. So if you're doing, if you're going off the edge, that's fine. But then you don't want your second generation to be the first stamp because you're going to have. So this is what happens. You get some bits that are dark and some that are light. So just remember that if you're doing second generation stamping and your first generation was on, off, just off the edge of your stamp, card, re-ink, stamp off and have a second go. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I always feel really sorry for anyone that gets fibromyalgia. I think it, as you say, right, you say, it sucks. Um, anyhow, so yes, so it's a VW ID3. Um, and it the, the the free included color is um the clean version is dull gray that will do it's not quite the color how i describe it but dull gray so it's a, a flat as in not 
uh, pearlescent. Um, grey. That was never going to happen. I was never going to be driving a grey car. I currently drive a yellow car. Grey was never going to be a colour I would pick. Um, they then have a colour that's called something like denim blue. It's pearlescent or metallic and it's dull grey. Um, they have a silvery colour, something silver, that is dull grey. Then they have a darker grey, can't remember what they call that, but it's dull grey. Or they have turquoise. Sorry, that was on wrong. Um, so I'm having turquoise, except it's our car. We're, going, we're buying it together. Um, and <laughs> Martin's not a great fan of turquoise. He likes my yellow, but he doesn't like turquoise. So he wants, oh yes, and there was white was an option, pearlescent white. We live down a dirt track, really white. Doesn't matter whether it's dry, in which case it's dirty dust, or wet, in which case it's mud. So it was never going to be white. Uh, so we're having turquoise. And he did say, does it come with a magic button that changes it from turquoise to white? To which the answer is no, it doesn't. Anyway. Barbara's car, Darth, Fab, Jan. Battleship grey. That's one way of describing it. Um, ship is pretty close to how I described it but the last letter is a bit wrong <clears throat> I think we'll leave it at that shall we um, but they were basically four shades of ship grey so those are today's cards so they use the free free dies and I think if I'm right in remembering let's get the, the goodies brochure so we've got the bedazzling um, paper which I've had quite a lot of. And remember now, wherever you are in the world, um, the bedazzling paper, it, when it goes, it's gone. It will not come back. Um, Gunmetal grey. Equally, not quite the word I used. Ship is pretty close. Thank you for liking the cards. Um, Penguin Playmates paper. Feels like home, which I used a couple of days ago. Beautifully penned. Haven't used that yet. Uh, haven't used the peaceful prints yet the sheep and the sheep dies are both 45 pound so level one items textured frames are oh, right so the summer shadows dies which are the ones that i'm using um this is what i wanted to check are a level two so it's a 90 pound 120 euro no idea what it is in aussie or american dollars sorry but there we go Um, delicate dahlias yeah and then if you put in a really large order you get this wonderful in your words um, which I love I particularly like your birthday came your birthday went here's the card I should have sent which in spite of the fact I make cards every single day of the week I still forget people's birthdays anyhow so here are the cards those are the dies which go with this now, both sets of dies, so the sh Summer Shadow dies and the Sheep dies and the Bedazzling Paper, when they have gone, when they've sold out, if you can sell out something that's free, they will not be on back order. 180 in Australia, thank you. Um, but the stamps if they and the paper, if they sell out, sell free, um, they will go on back order, so they will come but it just depends when. But the bedazzling and the dyes, once it's gone, it's gone. So, um, I hope you have enjoyed the day, hour. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It's been a long old session, um, slightly over my hour. Sorry, I'm just going to flip up so I can be polite and say goodbye properly. Um, so if you've enjoyed the cards and the general chat and what have you, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Uh, if you don't already subscribe, please, 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 I would be thrilled if you would. Um, if you are in Europe and you need any stamping up 
uh, products, I would be thrilled if you would choose my online store, which is linked below in below the video in the description bar. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Gosh, the the delay is long today. Have a really fantastic day, um, night, morning, etc. Uh, the sun has just come out, so that means it's time for me to do more indoor work. Um, anyway, have a super day. Thank you very much indeed. And I, I will enjoy my new car when I get it in December. Thank you, Ruth. Um, it's been built in November, apparently. So until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Goodbye. I will put up my end screen and then go.